Hey guys, Pete from Two Wheels here. Again, it's been a while since I've done the last update. Been so busy at work and also so busy trying to get the bike sorted and ordering more parts. And I've been a bit naughty and ordered some other stuff. Anyway, I'm going to tell you all about it now, so roll the intro. Hey guys, um, what's the story so far? So we got the Sea to Sky in five weeks today, which sounds like a long way off, but when you got work and anything like that, I've literally, when I've done anything, I've only got five days to get this bike ready and on the truck, ready to go. I'm thinking I'm in a good place, um, but yeah, let's, let's have a look at what we've done. So we got a brand new ice. Um, single white on the rear brand new chain sprocket okay so it's going standard 49 and 14 on the front I think the gearing for the beta is spot on and it has done me really well and all the extreme vents so why what why change something that works so I'm not changing it um, so yeah however um, the chain I've got was there. Do you know how much that cost? One hundred pounds. It better last, last the lifetime of the bike. I'm telling you that for a fact. And it wasn't from Sam. Sam wanted to give me a better deal. Stupid me. Didn't buy it from Sam from SMX. I bought it when I bought this. Here we go. Now. For people who bought a new Enduro bike in the last year or so, they probably know, don't know what one of these are. This is known as a kickstart. Okay? Kickstart. The manufacturers seem to think we don't need a kickstart anymore because they go, oh, it's going to add a couple of pounds to the bike because the mechanism, they feel like that. When you're inside a hill and your battery's dead and you've got a problem, and you want to kick the bike over, they go, oh, but you saved at least one, two pounds on the bike's weight. This means you can push it easier. Piss off. I want a kickstand. So therefore, I fitted the kickstand kit for the beater. So here it is. All installed here. Ready to go on. There. Okay, so this is a backup, okay? a backup um, I just wanted it because the other day my battery died and yeah but why aren't they fitting kickstarts anymore it's so simple to have a kickstart for when things go wrong anyway enough of the moaning it cost me 267 pounds because I had this lithium battery okay have a look at it Note it. It says BS battery on it. Yeah? It stands for bullshit battery off Amazon. Yeah? Wasn't cheap as well. Yeah? The original battery, well, I can't find from um, Beta. That didn't last a lot very long. But this one, don't buy it, guys. It's a crock of shit. Yeah? It, it's actually ballooned a little bit. And I charged it up and then when I hit on the top here you have this lovely indicator to give you like blue lights you might see that after fully charged it dropped then down to two blue lights it discharged itself nice job <laughs> pissed anyway let's think about the positive things in life shall we so we've got this brand new chain sprocket we've got this rear sprocket here that went cheap that was 60 quid John Sam should have gone to Sam for that 60 quid for that rear sprocket and I've got a brand new front sprocket 
not necessarily that it needed a new sprocket, but I'm a bit belt, belt, belt and braces because when the race is done, everything's still good. Everything's got you know a lot of life left in it. This is when I built the KTM for Seat Sky over there. Everything else on that bike is still good to go. Yeah, after numerous rides. So anyway, what else we got? So a seal kit in here. There's a seal kit on there on the air box. Speak to Sam SMX. The seals on these air boxes, I think, are poo. <laughs> but the seal kit um, that Sam sells, uh, it, it gives an extra seal on the air box because it's going to be really dusty out there. So I'm just going to move around the bike. Yeah. On the rear, <clears throat> we've got solid rear disc. Now we go to solid rear discs because they're less li likely to bend, but we've got the Moto system on there as well. Yeah, to prevent any any uh, rocks hitting it. But if it does, uh, I also like the feel of the solid rear disc um, compared to the standard disc. Some people do, some people don't. Up to you. But anyway, solid rear disc. Um, Galfer pads, all front and rear, all brand new. Um, oh. Suspensions back, all revalved by Gareth in South Wales. He's done a proper job. Um, so Gareth has set this up for more soft trial style. So he's put in a different spring for me for lightweight. I'm about 74 kilos. He put a different spring in there. Yeah, he's put the um, I can't even know if you see that the Australian kit in there, which I mentioned before. Oh, I can't know if you see it. Um, yep. So that's all in there, ready to go. The forks have all been revalved, yeah. And lighter springs have been put in the forks because I said they were too harsh. So the forks are all done as well. So this should be super plush, super plush. Now, front wheel. The bearings in the wheels are perfect. However, I decided to change the front when they were good. And then hit, <laughs> hit my finger with a mallet went down to the tendons claret everywhere wasn't a great experience but that's what I often do anyway so I've got to put the wheel bearings in there however I'm running a single green and this time guys I'm not running an 80 100 yeah 80 100 I'm running a 90 100 uh, with moose, moose balls front and rear um, it's going to give me a bit more deflection over those rocks one because it's, it is rock city out there in um, Turkey um, and guess what guys there will be a daily vlog every day for the race in Turkey literally every day so when we get in the taxi to get out there and then from all the trail riding to the racing uh, I'm gonna be vlogging it every day so yeah it means that of course that my evenings are going to be taken up by editing and then um, putting it out on YouTube but if you guys want that I'd like to do it but if you guys want that please give me a thumbs up saying yeah we'd love to see every day uh, what it's like out there what's the ride like the race everything. if you all go give guys give me a thumbs up I'm gonna do it 100% um, but yeah just let me know okay but yeah that's my intentions all right so vlogging every day yeah so um clocks had a new battery in it because the battery only lasts like three minutes a curbis do covers for your clutch uh master cylinder and cl clutch and brake master cylinders yeah so they're on there so take a massive hit my as3 um um God, get the words out. My AS3 clamps are on there, so in, a, uh, in, a, in, in the event of a crash, <laughs> when I crash, yeah, these will spin and not break. Fingers crossed. Still got the mitigator system in there, etc. Um, going down. Oh yeah, look at these nice Sam Samco hose kit fitted. All in there, nice Samco hose kits. Yeah, obviously we're running not not running. Um, the um, throttle position sensor, all the all injection on here, it's all premix. So yeah, all looking good so far. But that's a bloody expensive chain. But guess what? I've been naughty. 
Check it out. Um, the wife doesn't know yet. Yeah, I've got the Fresco two-stroke rear cap. And I bought these like protectors on it. Um, isn't that nice? <laughs> it's pimp. I spent so much money on this bike. And I thought, there's guys doing out in the States as well. They've done a great job. And I thought, hmm, if we're going to do this, let's do it properly. So we got the can as well. Yeah. One of my subscribers was asking me a question of how you can fit with the, the Moto's pipe. Yeah. And the mitigator, exhaust guard. What guard do you use for the bash plate and protect the linkage? And that simple answer, guys, is AXP. Okay. Now, I'm a bit pissed at the AXP because it did break there. However, I've had a lot of AXPs and they haven't broken. But wasn't happy. But still, it's not a cheap bit of kit. But maybe it was me i don't know but still not happy um but anyway moving forward um what i've done so when you fit the mitigator to the, um the, the, the frame you use this adapter the other side okay so what you're going to do now is you move that adapter to one side you're going to fit the bash plate but before you do that you're going to drill some extra holes in it where that is going to sit inside yeah inside like that okay because the XP bash bit only fits in two positions there and there which to me is not enough now what you're going to do is you're going to put that that side then you're going to put that the other side of the frame and the bolts are going to go from the mitigator through there into here which is going to pull this mitigator system and the whole lot together and then you've got another one with 12 mil spacer here. So you've now got one, two, three, four points of contact for the XP bash plate. And the mitigator um, guard is nicely secure as well. <sighs> Simple. Okay. So, yeah, so we've got all obviously all the bash guards on. Um, Everything's in there running Evans coolant. Um, new battery one because a bullshit battery is bullshit um strap the rear um you guys have seen the strap i use see the strap i use for the front is this one from summer smx which means it's great because you you put it on let's get it in the shot you put it on and you don't have to uh take the forks out you literally just undo it put it around the clamps and screw on great um i've also got another one where is it which i'll be taking oh my god which is a quick strap um i'll find it it's basically um yeah where's it go so you pull the lever whoosh, goes out one meter let go boom goes back in so i'll be taking that with me as well but I'll yeah, so it's good to have both options. Oh my god, yeah. So, um, busy time for me at the moment, so we're really just trying to fit everything in. I'll be editing this um, video shortly. Oh, I've got a quick one for you guys. Quick one, quick one. I did buy myself the Raricon. So, my tyre changer, yeah, um, is what I used before. Um, you might see me using it. Um, it's free. So any subscriber is willing to come pick it up from a location close to my hideout. <laughs> so uh, first subscriber says, Pete, I'll have that. Pick it up from in Monmouth at the petrol station. You can have it. It's free. It still works. It's perfect. I've used it for the past eight years and it's in full working order. And um, yeah, I'm going to give that to one of my subscribers. So I like like it to still be used um why did i buy the rabaconda um so i could and my wife said to me i cut all my hands up the other day uh, my stupid form she said would it be easier with a rabaconda i said well yeah slightly easier um but a lot of bloody money but i'm doing well on this and uh, she said get the rabaconda so i did however my tire changer i'd like it to go to good home so the first subscriber said i want it they can have it 
all right so just let me know and uh, you guys can have a free tire changer so what we're waiting for now we are waiting for graphics which are going to be pimp and bodywork brand new um, plastics brand new graphics etc etc I've changed the jet in um, I've gone from a 40 I was on 35 on idle I've now gone to a yeah so 35 on idle is running way way too lean then I decided no 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 then I went a bit drastic I went to a 40 then it was running it was running okay but it wasn't wasn't doing that horrible um when it's lean overrun um so now i've gone to a 38 pilot and a 158 on the main um so hopefully that'll be all right yeah it should be but um yeah it will it'll be fine um but i don't even get time to test the bike for two weeks uh with work so i've got literally you get back i've got two days at weekend to get this bike finished and built and then I'll hopefully have maybe a couple of days test well, a couple of days a couple of hours test riding it before it then goes out to Turkey then in Turkey we're gonna ride I fly out on Saturday so hopefully ride Sunday in the mountains Monday Tuesday to get dialed in and then race starts Wednesday can't wait I've been training hard I've been training every day I've been doing it since June last year um, I only have one day off training so I feel fit but again no bite time got to man up get on with it but anyway so there'll be a video coming on the what the moose balls installs like so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna um, edit this video as soon as possible so anyway guys um, the bites coming along fine oh yeah these ones if you buy this kit from Beta with the triple clamps, I think these, which I'm gonna replace, I've replaced the bottom ones. These are, again, bullshit. Yeah, they are shit. So, put proper bolts in, the original triple clamps. These are just made of chocolate. Hmm. So anyway, apart from that, it's looking down, pimp. And check the exhaust out. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. All I've got to do is now ride. Shit. <laughs> anyway, we'll beat two wheels. Out from now. <sighs> Looking forward to see the sky. Cheers, guys.